few months' time, Iraqis are due to go to the polls for a national election. It was a fraught process even getting the election to happen, and a man instrumental in that process was Iraq's Vice President, Tariq al-Hashmi, who I'm pleased to say is here in the studio for us. Thank you for your time. Okay. First of all, tell Thank me, is, is the election in your mind rock solid? The law is in place, this election will go ahead, no vetoes, no more problems? No, that's finished, in fact. Thank you very much for these opportunities. I'm uh, very much sure, in fact, that the, the mission has been fulfilled and we are heading, in fact, for the 7th of, of, of March and the election is going to take place as we as well. Were you 100% happy with the changes in the election law? Because as we well know, mm -hmm. and you and I spoke on the day, you vetoed it and it was very controversial. Were you happy with what happened or did you just decide we need to move on. This has to happen. I'm not going to veto. I need this to happen. No, I think it's a, a major, uh, uh, a, a major uh, achievement has been has been done. In fact, and, uh, which related to the Iraqis living outside. In fact, the migrants. In fact, they be being just uh, treated well now, and, and uh, uh, they got now an, an opportunities like their brothers, partners inside Iraq, mm -hmm. and the value of their voices are being equal according to the constitution. I'm very much happy. In fact, the main target of my veto be being fulfilled. So you you weren't tempted at all to use the veto right. on this one. That's right. You weren't. Sorry. You weren't tempted at all to use the veto on this most recent vote. Well, I, I, I vetoed, as you fully aware, in fact, for three purposes, in mm. fact. But the, the, major, the major aspect of us, just to treat the outsiders uh, as, mm -hmm. as the insiders being treated according to, to the law. There was talk about U.S. intervention, 11th hour sort of stuff, absolute last minute, Obama on the phone, Joe Biden on the phone. Would this, uh, would this, would this law have gotten through if it not been for that intervention? Because let's face it, there, was a, there were a lot of problems getting that law through. I, I think so, but I have to be. I have to be very fair. In fact, I I received two telephone calls from from Vice President Joe Biden. In fact, he was uh, 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 happy about about my my, my veto. Mm -hmm. He was uh, uh, supportive, mm -hmm. and uh, he said, uh, "I am at, at your disposal." In fact, to do whatever whatever needed. In fact, uh, to make your mission is, is, is easy. And uh, at that time, in fact, the, our, our brothers, the Kurdish, were, were quite adamant, in fact. They are very much concerned about the number of seats being allocated to them according to the, to the amendment that took place, in fact. And I think uh, uh, during um, a fair and, and healthy dialogue mm -hmm. uh, with, with, the, with the Kurdish people, subject being sorted out. You know as well as anyone how bad the violence is in Iraq. It's still going on. I've just read a report about, about more deaths today. An election in three months' time, less than that, can it happen safely? Can, it, can you be confident that this is going to go well and that it will not only be safe, but it will be fair? Uh, from day one, uh, 2003, after the invasion, in fact, we have decided to go ahead with the political process regardless of uh, what sort of whatever, whatever the cost might be. Mm. Um, I am just in front of you, just I lost my three, three brothers, in fact, mm. just being because I, I have a, or already opted for the political process, in fact. So we are going to go ahead, in fact, until we fulfill the mission of the political process. Uh, we are going to, to, co to continue and, and, and heading for the, for the election, whatever the cost might be, taking into consideration that Iraq time being, in fact, uh, uh, facing and is, and is going to, to, to face uh, various, uh, various uh, and major challenges from now until mm. the election date. Regardless of the casualties, regardless of the cost, we have already opted for the political process and we are going to fulfill the mission. The political process though, and, and you could just say generally life in Iraq is so fractured now, it's not just about a straight split down the middle between Shia and Sunni or if you want to bring the Kurds and all that. It's, it's, it looks to be completely fractured, fractures within the two sides. Is that uh, for the political process, is that better? Is that better to have more voices like that, or is it better to, if you're going to have a division, straight down the middle? Well, it's a matter of democracy, in fact, and uh, what we do have in now is, is, uh, is an infant democracy. We have to be very patient on that. We are democracy is, 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 is now is building, building up, gradually, slowly, but. Uh, uh, anyway, uh, but it's still in pieces. This is the thing, and, and even with this election law, where you've increased the number of seats in the parliament, one could argue that's going to fracture it even more. You're going to have even more dissenting voices, and there'll be no real unity there. 
Well, well, I, as I told you, in fact, this is the cause of, 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 of democracy, and uh, we have to live with, with, uh, with, 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 this, with this phenomena. In fact, Iraq is being comprised of, of various factions, and uh, we have, this is just a matter, of, a matter of fact. And for some time to come, in fact, the major decisions and uh, the political process, in fact, should be based on, on consensus basis, that everybody should contribute, in fact, in decision making. Mm. Uh, power sharing is very important. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not very much concerned about what we have said, because mm. uh, at the end of the day, all what we need, in fact, is, is a, a better parliament uh, to uh, uh, legalize many, many pending laws, in fact, and to uh, go ahead into re, uh, the, the national reconciliation, mm. which could bring uh, all these factions, in fact, together and heading for the common interests of the country. I want to ask you about some of the recent bombings we've seen, and we've been running pictures, while you and I have been talking, we've been running pictures of these awful scenes that we've seen. In your opinion, and, and in the government's opinion, who's, who, who is behind these attacks? Because when they happen, you get calls saying, oh, it's elements of the Ba'athist party, or it was al-Qaeda in Iraq, and still, you can't say there's any real responsibility or anyone being brought to justice for these things, and they keep happening. Well, this is the, I mean, I mean if, you, if you follow my, the dispute uh, between myself and the government, in fact, it's based on, 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 this, on this subject primarily. In fact, uh, we in the, in the presidency council, until now, in fact, we have received any concrete reports on the three waves of, of terror attacks mm. uh, on, on Baghdad. It's quite unfortunate. But anyway, I think Al-Qaeda has already announced that they are behind. Mm. The problem, who was behind Al-Qaeda, mm. in fact, to uh, make this threat is, is, is ongoing since four months. Uh, definitely, in fact, I'm very much concerned about the future. But uh, as I told you, in fact, um, all these, all these uh, terror attacks, in fact, heading to uh, abort the political process, to weakening Iraq, in fact, to make things rather difficult for, for us, in fact, to strengthening Iraq, to uh, get Iraq united. But regardless of these challenges, in fact, we have already opted, we have already decided, in fact, to go ahead, to go ahead and to continue our mission regardless of our tragedy. Staying the course, indeed. Iraq's Vice President Tariq al-Hashmi. Pleasure talking to you. Thank you Thank for coming you, in. Thank you.